For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's treasure tale takes us to Minerva, Ohio. For a story of lost French gold, hidden from British troops, hot on their heels. Minerva, Ohio was a small village that now sits on the borders of three counties, Carroll, Stark, and Columbiana counties in the eastern part of the state. The village started out in 1818 as a 123-acre plot of land sold to John Whitaker for construction of a log mill. With the mill, other businesses began popping up in the area. John named the little village Minerva after his niece Minerva Ann Taylor who was born April 19, 1833. It seemed fitting to name the town Minerva as she was always found playing around the mill as a child. In 1846 Minerva got its first schoolhouse it gradually grew into the quaint little town it still is today, with most only looking to the future, not thinking much about the past. Had anyone in town known the history of the land in the area, someone could have been extremely wealthy. It seems, according to local legend, around 1755, the French held possession of the fort in Pittsburgh, now known as Fort Pitt. During the French and Indian War, 2,000 British troops attacked it from the east. Fearing the payroll would fall into the enemy hands, it was loaded on pack horses and sent out with a guard of soldiers en route to Bolivar, Ohio, where there was an old blockhouse for shelter and provisions. The route would take them along what is known as the Great Trail, their modern day equivalent to a superhighway today. After overthrowing the fort, the British learned of the gold payroll that had been sent out just before the fort had fallen. Soldiers were dispatched to give chase. Four days outside Pittsburgh, the British had almost caught up. The French soldiers decided to bury the gold to lighten their load and prevent it from falling into enemy hands should they be overtaken. It was reportedly buried at the fork of four streams that formed somewhat of a square. One mile to the west of the location, one of the soldiers placed an odd shaped rock in the fork of a tree and another carved a deer into a tree. The plan was to escape and come back to retrieve the gold once things had settled down. As they made their escape, British troops caught up to them. In the ensuing battle, most of the French troops were killed, with a couple managing to get away. Around the 1870s, a stranger came to town. He claimed to be the nephew of one of the French soldiers who'd escaped after burying the gold years ago. He had a letter from the soldier but gave specific clues to the gold's location. The letter stated it had been buried near four streams that formed sort of a square. An odd shaped rock had been jammed into the fork of a tree a half mile west of the cache. And a mile away, the letter spoke of a deer that had been carved into a tree where 600 steps to the north the shovels had been buried. An account of the story was published in 1875 detailing the stranger's claims. It said that after an exhaustive search, the stranger left town empty-handed, never to return. The locals had kept tight-lipped because they had a secret. Most of the people in town knew what signs and landmarks he had been looking for having grown up in the area knowing all the local landmarks. One local claimed 
that he had the odd rock that had been taken out of the tree long ago by his grandmother who grew up in the area and thought the rock to be an old Indian tool. The 1875 article also spoke of shovels, rifles, and soldiers' remains recovered in the area along with a deer carving on a tree that had only been discovered after a storm had broke loose a piece of the bark that had grown over it covering it all those years. But no gold. The location the rock was found had been lost. The tree with the deer carving fell soon after the bark broke free. And the four little streams probably dried before the village ever began. Today the treasure's total is thought to be around 13 million dollars where the gold coins hidden in the time before America's revolution for freedom. Treasure hunters every year make a trek to the area in search of the long lost legend. But then again, all legends are said to be based on some sort of fact. Good luck, happy hunting, keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.